welcome back. It is a cold, sunny day, and I thought, what a good day to go out and do some ice fishing. So I'm down here at the river. There's lots of huts. We're gonna see and try our luck here at uh, ice fishing. Had to leave the dog at home, but I left him well entertained. And I'm gonna leave Royce at home with his uh, new bone from uh, Cabela's. It is a rubber bone, as you can see. Ooh, um, it's actually uh, browning. So it's rubber, so it doesn't hurt their teeth, but it's like the shape of a stick. I love these things. And as you can see, he spits out all the pieces. So you gotta watch them with this to make sure they don't uh, swallow them, but he just absolutely adores this. So he's gonna be hanging out here while I'm out in the ice. They don't allow dogs uh, where I'm gonna be going ice fishing. So behind me, I could actually fit all my gear in here. I've got my, uh, my kick sled, all my ice fishing gear. And uh, my ice auger. Yeah, thank goodness I brought that for two seconds. I just panicked. <laughs> I didn't bring the auger. I do have an ax, but that wouldn't be very fun. We'll see what the ice is like. Uh, I'm hearing it's like 10, 12 inches right now, uh, which is pretty good to walk out on. There's lots of huts out here. I don't have a hut. It's a nice sunny day. It's not terrible. Um, it's minus 20 this morning. Now it's up to minus 10. So we're just going to brave it and sit out there and uh, enjoy the nice day. Oh, it's definitely chilly out here today. Whew. Let's take a look. Lots of people out here, the sled. So where people are right now is there's a drop off point. It's about, uh, right now we're kind of sitting on top of four or five feet of water. Out there we're probably looking at, uh, I don't know, 10 to 12, 15 feet. Right off that little ledge there. So that makes a lot of sense. Well, ice is really not as thick as I thought it was going to be out here. I mean, good enough to walk on, but you sure wouldn't want to be bringing anything out here. Like, I don't know. I wouldn't want to bring a truck out here, that's for sure. Eh, it is about eight inches or so. So perfectly fine to walk on, but let's see back that way. People have parked. Let's clean out our holes here. Just did two. Got a tip up and just a uh, rod. See the water is a little bit tanny here, like in that brown color, so I mean for some brighter lures. Speaking of bright, that sun. Woo! Got the sunglasses on. It's really actually warm in the sun. It's just that wind is kind of biting. So got my little ice fishing kit here. So uh, I might try my hand at a few tube jigs today. See if we can get some purge, some crappy. Um, these ones right here, so little pearl white ones and these little speckly jobs I got uh, from uh, Cabela's actually. Made a little tour past Cabela's to pick up some fresh stuff. Um, so they're great. They come in little packs of five. Not too worried if I lose one or two. The other ones I really like are these types of lures, slab grabbers. You don't need any kind of bait on these. You just sort of jig them a little bit. And I've never been disappointed with those. Those are awesome. So uh, yeah, I was, I was looking through this earlier to get my kit set up. I uh, went through here and you'll see I found my outdoors card. So here in Ontario, we need an outdoors card with our license. I could not find this uh, for the life of me. Um, I had to print off something online because I couldn't find the actual card. So I was super happy to find this. You can see here, it tells me I have a sport fishing license for three years, expiring in December. So really happy I found this. These are things I made years ago, um, just like if I fall in uh, to climb out of the water, just sort of grip. I've actual ice grippers as I've actual ice grippers as well somewhere. Looked all over, couldn't find those, but uh, might be one of my other tackle boxes, so I'll take a peek. But these things will do. Uh, ice is thick enough right here. It's more just like if I'm going places where it's kind of new to me and I don't really know um, how deep the uh, how thick the ice is, I check it obviously, but you never know. If you run into some bad ice, it's always good to have uh, ice grips, ice picks uh, to crawl out. Some of you might be wondering a bit about my kick sled. It is the Esla T6 from Finland. And uh, it's really nice. Have a nice little chair. You can put your pack on the back of the little armrest here. 
And I've got a little mat here for my feet, or you can stick your feet up like this. Going ice fishing, if you're going ice fishing with a kid, you can kind of put them on the seat and push them around, so it's pretty fun. Such a beautiful day, you can see there's the moon straight ahead, I don't know if you can see that, it's very faint, three quarter moon. Oh, and I should mention, that is the Quebec side. That's Quebec over there, and behind me is Ontario. Walk right across. It's probably frozen all the way too, but probably a little thin in the middle. Let's see if we get anything today, but if not, it's all worthwhile sitting out here in the sun. I just had a really strong bite. I lost it. I tried to set the hook and, you know, I get excited. <laughs> Very first bite you get ice fishing. You're like, yay, this is all worthwhile. <laughs> GC got off. I don't know what it was. It wasn't like huge, huge, but yeah, it was like a perch or something like that. It's on my slab grabber, the one with a little red tip on it. So anyway, we'll keep persisting. I'm um, working it kind of near the bottom a little bit, just off the bottom. So uh, hopefully we get another bite. I was just chatting with someone who uh, came upon me and looked like, you know, they've never ice fished before. So they asked me, oh, is it easier, you know, ice fishing versus, um, you know, just fishing here in the summertime and I said well it's a little bit tricky because you're kind of you're well you're kind of limited to one spot you know like you can't like troll or whatever I suppose you could drill about 100 holes and like go wandering around between the different ones um but you kind of like gotta scope it out kind of in the spring summertime fall um know your depths your you know your little water depth charts and stuff like that know exactly where you are and what kind of structure you're over um but there's a lot of uh, element of luck to it I'd say um not like you're hauling up fish every five seconds or anything like that, but a lot of people just come out uh, here, do ice fishing, and I don't know, they like drink or hang out with their buddies and chat and stuff like that. Or I just sit out here as like a meditation, you know, like just moving the little line up and down and relaxing and ah, taking it all in. This is definitely the day to do it, I'll tell you. So I don't find ice fishing any easier than um, fishing in the summertime. Um, fish are slower, I think, you know, like when you catch them hook them and they stay on the line um, I find they're definitely they don't have as much fight because they're you know they're sluggish they're cold um, some of the best fish I caught were uh, on kind of an inland lake where we, I know in the summertime there's lots of really good populations of fish and so I was not disappointed you know hauling out pike and perch like that it was like I just hit the magical hour and they were just kind of coming out the hole left right and center but uh, you know it just depends I think on the day and you know just what they feel like eating and biting and the time, obviously. Uh, right now we're kind of uh, early afternoon, so you know maybe they aren't as hungry. But uh, it was pretty exciting there to get that bite. <laughs> Gets me excited for the rest of winter. Uh, I've got a few spots that I go ice fishing. Uh, this is one of them. This is a new spot to me actually, so we're just gonna try it out. Um, there's another one, it's about like, I don't know, almost an hour away. And I've had good success there. I've done videos from there. Um, on like just little shallow bays getting like perch and stuff like that. Uh, I really want to try crappy fishing. Um, I usually get like bluegill, sunfish, perch, sometimes when I'm doing panfish, but I nice to get crappy and a lot of people are into that and I don't know much about it. You know, they say recommend using tube jigs and like that around here, but uh, you know, I'm sure they'll hit anything like worms and stuff like that. So uh, big crappy fishing uh, in this area in spring for sure, off the structure on the shoreline and stuff like that. So. I'll try that out too in my my inflatable boat or whatever. We'll get that all uh, we'll get that all um, fired up, and we'll do that. Looks like my line's freezing up. I hate when that happens. Yeah, I'm using ice fishing line, but it's just pretty darn cold out here today. What am I wearing today to stay warm? Well, for starters, I have. Uh, a few base layers on. I always dress in layers, so um, I have I've kind of an insulative layer right here, by the North Face. It's got a hood on it as well. And I just picked this up, this uh, sweater underneath this blue sweater it's by Ascend. I got this at uh, Cabela's. It's got um, two pockets and one up here as well. It's really nice, quite warm actually. Um, so I got that. So I wear that as like kind of a mid layer. And then this is my wool sweater that I wear. I love it. And, uh, you know, wool will keep you warm even, you know, when it's wet and stuff like that. So, um, 
Yeah, just dress in layers for stuff like this, you know, because you can always be overheated. You know, I can always take off this wool sweater and put this Ascend jacket on. That's pretty nice. Um, for my gloves, I have Combi. And uh, I like these ones because look, they've got a magnetic clip. So your hands are exposed. So, you know, when you need to address the fishing line and stuff like that, but then they, they seal up. So that's pretty cool. Um, got my little hat, burn hat on. Uh, and this hood um, from my North Face uh, underlayer there, it does have a hood. So if I need that, that's good. And then my wool jacket has a hood too. For my pants, I have insulated pants on right now. Um, and I also have uh, insulated sort of hunting pants, um, camo. They're really nice. They're, they're silent when you walk. They're not like squeaky like snow pants. And I've got my uh, my muck lucks on. Let's take a look. So these are the pants I was telling you about. Yukon gear. Really nice hunting pants. Cargo pants are a deal. They've got pockets. And then my muck lucks are on underneath here. I made these. Oh, and there's my insulated pants. Uh, my muck lucks are there. Um, Why well, have those on? They keep me pretty warm because um, they aren't constricting and I've got three pairs of wool socks between them and the ground so they're pretty warm. They're made of elk hide as well um, so I don't get them wet. I use them on days like today when it's really cold. You don't want to have them in slush or anything like that um, because then you're gonna get really wet and cold. So you can have like over boots and stuff which I do have like for snowshoes and whatnot. Um, those ones are great uh, to have to keep them dry. Grateful for these little uh, hand warmers. They supposedly expired last year, two years ago actually, and they still work. <laughs> um, I use these up. I've got a big box of them, but super nice to tuck in places to kind of keep warm, like your feet, your hands, sometimes the small of your back. You know, Birch and I used those when we were out camping. Um, man, it was so nice to fall asleep. One of those, the small of your back keeps you nice and warm. It's starting to get pretty cold sitting out here. No further bites or anything like that, but uh, gorgeous day. Getting lots of people out here now. And uh, a lot of people wondering about thickness of ice, is it safe to walk out and stuff? So yeah, it is, it's eight inches. So you're good to walk. Do not drive your car on this, it's gray ice. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Um, so what kind of fish do people catch out here anyway? Well, we're looking at probably um, pike and gar and ling. Um, walleye for sure, people love getting walleye out here. And perch and crappie and some little bays and stuff like that. Um, are we missing anything? Yeah, that's a, uh, oh, muscle lunch. I think some people get muscle lunch depending on where you go. So lots of variety out here, that's for sure. Just taking a little walk to warm up and uh, the river's pretty windblown so the ice uh, isn't too far beneath the uh, snowpack here. Thank goodness there's been times where I've actually had to dig out like <laughs> two feet of snow before I could actually get to the ice. It's like a little area here. Someone was probably fishing I think earlier today. slushy out here. I'm not going any further than that. E. Could be if there's like a current or something under here. Just gotta be careful. Yeah, when your spidey sense is up and you're like, oh geez, I shouldn't walk there. Don't walk there. I've done that before. My legs have gone in. <laughs> not very fun. Um, so yeah, what a nice day. But gotta warm up. Gotta get up and move around a little bit. Get some circulation back in my feet, my hands. Boy, what a nice day with the sun right there. Wow. Lots of folks. I don't hear any hooting and hollering. I don't think anybody's gotten uh, the big one, if you know what I mean. But uh, ah, it's just great. Got a little camaraderie. People helping each other out. Just helping uh, someone dig a hole back there. Some people have power augers, so that's awesome. I just have the regular auger, so it's uh, a good workout to stay warm as well. Drill more holes, catch more fish, stay warm. Well, I'm hoping to make this into a regular series. No further. Well, I'm hoping to make this into a regular series. No further bites uh, today, but boy, is it ever nice out here. And I'm going to take advantage of the El Nino winter, where it's a little bit warmer than expected, uh, and get out on the ice more often. So uh, I'll see you guys back out on the ice again. I'll find another location. But uh, thanks for joining me today and uh, getting started with the uh, hard water fishing. It's going to be lots of fun. Have a great week. We'll see you in the next video. Stay warm.